Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. Welcome back to Alexander's Prestige. Uh, hopefully you would have seen one of my recent videos where I came up here to return the Urban Defender 90 that Alexander's very kindly lent me for three months. Well, when I arrived this morning, this was in the car park, the brand new Maserati MC20. Now, I've got to be honest, don't hate me, for some reason, I haven't paid this car much attention since it launched a couple of years ago. It's kind of fell off my radar. Till early this year when the international press drives took place and since then, every journalist I follow online has been going crazy about it, saying it's the best thing ever. So when I arrived this morning, saw this car in the car park and realized we had a beautiful sunny day ahead of us, I begged and pleaded Andrew from Alexander's to have a go behind the wheel and he has very kindly said yes. So we're gonna be giving it the ultimate seen through glass test for any new supercar by taking it to get a coffee. I'm going to be bringing Andrew along with me to find out why he ended up buying an MC20, how he's been getting on with it and what I should know about it because I feel like I've kind of forgotten all the important facts and stats. No surprise, seems to happen quite a lot on Seen Through Glass, doesn't it? Anyway, let's go. I'm really embarrassed to admit, I didn't know it had butterfly doors. No, that's I the coolest thing! I genuinely was like, oh! <laughs> that's the coolest thing! I, I, I've been trying to work out why I've paid such little attention to this car, because theoretically, right up my street, Italian brand, yeah, mid-engine yeah. supercar, like I should have been all over it. Well, it, well, it launched, but then they didn't do anything with the press. Didn't, they didn't, didn't do anything with it, did well, they? The drive just happened like two weeks ago, the, yeah, the yeah, first so drive. I, it was like Maserati's best secret, I don't know why they did that. I mean, I, 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 it took some of the excitement out of it, I think. Yeah. When it did get unveiled, I was like, oh, this would be cool. You know what initially turned me, turned me off it, is it launched this great furore, and there were some leaked clips of it, like, revving. Mm. It did not sound good. And yeah, I, and I was like, problem. oh. Yeah. And then it all went quiet, because you say, like, no one drove it, I guess because of COVID. But now suddenly, people have got behind the wheel of it and are going nuts. Yeah. And you've been texting me saying, oh, this thing is very good. <laughs> So I'm intrigued, I'm excited, so thank you for this opportunity, this is very cool. Um, so we're gonna go get coffee. Should we go to have a... Uh, yeah, I mean it's essential. Coffee. I mean we're an Italian Come car on. anyway, so you know, it's, 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 it's gotta be done. Let's do it, let's do it. See, I mean, I, how have you been finding the sound? Oh. That's probably the only downside to this car, they haven't they haven't nailed the noise. They've nailed virtually everything else, I mean, butterfly doors, carbon tub, sh you know, the way it looks. It looks fantastic. I, I prefer everything. the front to the rear. Is that a... Yeah, directly on the rear. It's. It's not its best angle. It's okay, but it's not its best, but front and side, rear quarters, pretty car. I don't know if you're gonna get a coffee. Let's go. Always keen to go and get a coffee. Let's 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 do it. This place is lovely. All right, isn't it? Yeah, super nice. Yeah. Yoke, yoke kitchen. They were very friendly in there, weren't they? Yeah, lovely. Lovely place for lunch, apparently, as well. Sometimes uh, baristas get a bit stressed out when I when I try to film. There was them. some pressure there. Yeah, and he, I could tell he was like. <laughs> I think he was quite new as well, wasn't he? <laughs> I got that feeling. Anyway, very nice. Um, should we head back? We should. Where's the? Uh, uh, is there one cup <laughs> holder? <laughs> I'll let you. I'll let you take it. I'll let you take it. I can. I can hold can, mine. None of us can reach. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's, that's the. And oh. Oh, that's going. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not going to get that again. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to put you through this. I mean, that's maybe one of the. Because I was. I was going to say that the interior design and layout actually is super simplistic and really nice, but that seems like an afterthought, doesn't that's it? That's that's an afterthought. Yeah. But I, I, I like the simplicity. See that the tire thing. What's the tyre? How simple it is, cold, oh, okay, okay or hot. Super straightforward. Just that's all you need to know, so you know when it's blue, you know, you know it's going to be slippery and that's it. <laughs> it's things you don't expect from an Italian supercar. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a weirdly non-Italian. I'm going to set you a task actually. What's that? Well one, I'm going to let you have a drive because I think you should. Thank you very much, that's and very secondly, kind. I'm, I'm, I'm going to set you a task to see how you can actually open the boot with the engine running. Is that not a thing? Just when, uh, when you when you've got your son in the car and you send him to school and he wants to get his bag out of the boot and everyone's looking at you because you're in a Maserati. Sure. 
no. try, try opening the boots. <laughs> and there's the boots back there. There's not. Is there a front? There is a little, a okay. little one, but the big ones, the big ones back there. Okay, amazing. Right, let's head back to the showroom. Enjoy our coffees because we're not going to. Well, you're not going to enjoy yours whilst driving. <laughs> and then, yes, I would love to get behind the wheel of this thing. That's super go. cool. Let's go. Go. This is good coffee, by the way. Genuinely, really good coffee. This car's kind of surprising and confusing me. Maybe it's because I knew so little about it that there are things that I'm like, oh wow, it's, it's got this lovely sort of marbled slash crushed carbon fiber and the doors go up like this and the F1 tech in the engine is genuinely genius. I mean, these are things that I probably did know in the car launch, but I've just forgotten over time. But there's a whole lot of things that I never was expecting, like, well, the simplicity of the interior, the fact that the car's a very comfortable and usable GT car, that drive to the farm shop just now was lovely. It was sedate, it was, dare I say, even a bit boring. The car is as good as a 911 Turbo S, a McLaren GT, even a Bentley Continental, just doing the everyday stuff. Okay, I haven't checked out the boot space yet, but I thought it was gonna be harsh, rattly, carbon tub, noisy, just Italian supercar S. But no, it feels German, very German. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this and then get behind the wheel because as I mentioned at the start, every journalist that's driven this car recently has said it's absolutely incredible. So before we judge it fully, I need to get behind the wheel. Now, unfortunately, Paul Wallace is here. <laughs> Um, you're currently on a road trip in an Aston Martin DBX. Wow. You decided to swing by here and surprise me, which I admit was quite a nice surprise. <laughs> Unexpected, but nice. And, and I get a ride in this. Well, I, I, well, actually, I'm using you more than oh, you. Okay. You think, oh, this is great, I get to experience MC20. Paul's become my cameraman. I thought, <laughs> seeing as he's here, I might as well use him. Um, so, yes, you're going to come with me and uh, and capture some flybys of this car because I'm excited to see and hear this thing from the outside. I'm excited to see it because I want to know what the road presence is like because parked up, it's much bigger in person than it is on photos. Um, okay, it's so. Really nice in here. Start up. I don't like that. I'm sorry. I, I, just, I can't. Do you know what it sounds like? A, a tractor. Re a really powerful 4C. Okay, okay, you're not wrong. Uh, yeah. Um, not dissimilar to the Defender, which I just returned to Alexander's Prestige. This what? car has oh. a... <laughs> I thought you said that sound is not dissimilar. No. It has a, uh, uh, yeah, a camera as cool. the rear view mirror. Do you want me to film you, that or If not? you look at the back, can't see anything. Oh, yeah. That's I've just been saying that this car isn't very Italian. That part is very <laughs> Italian. You literally <laughs> cannot see a thing out the back. Um, so, we've got various sort of readouts on the on the virtual cockpit, uh, telling me that, well, the tires are cold, <laughs> the engine's not that warm and things like that. So, we've got to do a little bit of a drive to, to get everything warmed. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I feel That's like. That's very helpful. Just getting some B-roll. Don't mind me. I think people are keen to see the, the driving section. Oh, okay. I was just filming the cold tires. Okay, just, <laughs> <laughs> we're out of here. Um, very nice. M3 getting parked up next to us. So yes, anyway, we'll crack on down the road, let everything warm up, hopefully, uh, and then you'll join me when, fingers crossed, we can push on a little bit in this MC20 and see if it's really as good. Really as <laughs> good. That's all the journalist type. <laughs> over 5,000 RPM. Oh my lord. The brakes have got a similar feel almost to a McLaren brake where it's quite a long pedal. Not a lot happens until the end. Maybe we just need to heat them up. Oh, this thing is fast. How <laughs> <laughs> are you going on over there, Paul? Yeah. Oh, I was just God. amazed at how fast that tarmac disappeared. It is so good <laughs> and it feels super oh, light. Oh my blood. Okay, this is a joke. This is a joke. I'm still, I'm still not a fan of how that engine sounds. It's very unrewarding. Reminds me a little bit of my 718 Cayman S. But yeah, it does. Oh, it, it feels so light and nimble, and I'm being a little bit careful with the throttle pedal there. Sorry, Andrew, if you're watching this footage. Uh, although I've seen pheasant in the road. Pheasant in the road. Be careful of the wildlife. Oh yeah! That's not gaspacho. They don't understand that a car honk means get out of the way. You know what, you mentioned something at the start of this drive. Mm. Reminds you of the 4C. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. Behind the wheel, oh my god, it's so 4 c like. Really? It's the way that the turbo's spooling up, it's even the feeling of the gear paddles. It's such a weird experience, this car, because it's fundamentally ve wow. very quick and light. It's really fast. But there's just something, there's something almost missing. And it's something to do with either the noise or the kicks from the gears or something. What can we... Ah! Ah! What, are you we're in GT in, mode? No, we're in sport. Let's go into Corsa. Oh, God. <laughs> can I go into Corsa? Oh, yeah. I've just got a lot of load of water. Yeah, and, and the suspension like lights come on. Okay, so now we've really stiffened things up, which I have to say, suspension is a big win. It's felt, it's felt comfortable since yeah. the minute we got in it. Yeah. But I think it's going to be one of those cars that is, like, really good, but... Too good. You know, like, like there's, a, there's a butt. Which is the problem for every new car. <laughs> yeah, this is Corsa, we haven't had Corsa before, okay. so... Oh my god, Corsa! Yeah, 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 Corsa. it's okay. much jumpy. Corsa is intense, and that's about 20% throttle. Really? Yeah, okay. Corsa. Be careful, Blade! Yeah. Oh my god, Paul Corsa is terrifying. Yeah? Oh my god, Paul Corsa is... It feels like Corsa. the car's got, got even lower. Like, okay. I can't even see anything out of the front of the Corsa's car. Corsa's got soul. Oh my god, Corsa's got so much soul. I'm actually quite scared. Oh, I had to my my crushing car. Whoa, people. This is manic. The, the throttle response is insane. I can feel the throttle response is insane. Because there are kangaroo oh, everywhere. My god. Oh, oh my god. Solely in course mode, it has come to life. Oh, oh there's a cyclist. <laughs> Two cyclists. It's about a thousand points, isn't it? My God. <laughs> Careful, there's another pheasant. Oh, a <laughs> pheasant is awesome. <laughs> the pheasant's putting on a show now. How? How has this car gone from yeah. what it was in GT mode into Corsa? Is absolutely. Spectacular! Okay, the brakes need, a, the brakes need a lot of warming up. The brakes need a Look at that yeah. time! Oh. I mean... Okay, sold. Yeah. Sold. It's just too boring in its day-to-day -day modes, but a bit like a 720S or a 911 Turbo S, maybe that's the appeal of this car, the yeah. fact that it can do absolutely everything. I mean, this is genuinely... Yeah. One of them, I've been up and down this road in so many cars. <laughs> I should keep my eyes on the road, not you. <laughs> Please. One of the most exhilarating. Yeah, yeah, my heart rate has definitely increased. Okay, I, I get the hype now. Yeah. And then look, and then look, we keep talking about how we like to just cruise. Yeah. Du, 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 du. Peasant. Oh, oh my god! god. It, <laughs> he nearly went across. Let's do some flybys. Okay. <laughs> What do you think? Tell me what you think. Corsa mode. It's, mate, it's all about Corsa mode. Yeah, dude. I, I think that car comes to life in Corsa mode because a bit like the 720S, I think it's a bit confused in its comfier modes. Or maybe it's confusing, sorry. Yeah. It's confusing in its comfier modes because you don't expect it. It's so nice in GT yeah, modes. Yeah. What just cruises around, you know, this is lovely. Yeah. Then Corsa mode, it's terrifying. Those gear changes are savage, aren't but they? The throttle response, mate, like it's just, it's just manic. Do you feel what I feel? <laughs> it's like instant, isn't it? Like not over the car. I said it was similar to a Carrera GT in terms of oh, the really? instant rev. Like yeah. The minute you touch the pedal, straight up, like mad. I love yeah. I mean, course mode, I loved it. I'll be honest. The rest of the time I was like, uh, maybe it's just missing that little fizz that you expect from an Italian supercar. Yeah, but I think that's noise related. Noise related. Potentially. Yeah. And also, as all of these cars become more accessible and things like that, yeah. All of them do the same thing, you know, they all are yeah, they more do. accessible. Yeah. Anyway, so thank you very much. A very Glad special you experience. It. Yeah, very impressive. Very impressive. Have I got some tyres left? Yeah, just about. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Great to see you as always. And thank you. you very much. I will be back at some point. You're welcome anytime, you know that. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>